All right, we'll go ahead and get started here in just a second. Once I know this is live and working. Okay, we are live. Audio looks good. Everything looks good. No drop frames. Actually, a little bit of drop frames, but mm, what are we going to do? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started on this. We have a 2015 to 2017 A1466 that a repair shop sent in uh, with the complaint of a blown backlight fuse. Now, it's very rarely the backlight fuse, and I would be really surprised if we got lucky with just a backlight fuse. So the camera connector is kind of unplugged and hanging around here, so I'm kind of guessing this is going to be a prior repair attempt, uh, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug my basics. I do like to, okay, this has no board screws as well. I just noticed that. I do like to unplug the I.O. board with, with, for no backlight issues because sometimes the I.O., the Hall Effect sensor on the I.O. board can make the computer think that the lid is closed and it won't enable backlight. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what's going on. We're going to find out here. We're going to plug in our charger. I'm going to go ahead and um, get our multimeter on. I'm going to go over a little bit on backlight states right here. So here's our multimeter. You guys can see that and we're going to see what we get here. So I have a spinning fan. Um, I did not hear a chime. Well, I'm not going to hear a chime with the audio board unplugged. All right. We have no backlight. I could see an Apple, a dim Apple logo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check voltage on backlight output and this is going to determine um, how we go about this problem. And there is zero point zero point nothing zero point nine volts on backlight output so this may be a very rare case of a blown backlight fuse but that's pretty unlikely so on a 1466s zero volts is either backlights not getting enabled or you have a short or you have a blown fuse or short and short or blown fuse short and a blown fuse I should say eight volts means the system is not boosting that is either a bad backlight driver the LP8550 or ba backlight driver and feedback trace also very common um, 18 volts is almost exclusively the backlight driver um, that's partially boosting 25 to 27 volts is the normal voltage um, so that's if you're if you don't have backlight at 25 to 27 volts, go to see the eye doctor because you need some glasses or something else is wrong with your eyes. You cannot see light. Um, if you have like 38 to 50 volts, that's typically a bad screen or bad cable. It's really common for the cables to get all burned on them um, and that, that can cause that. So anytime you have like 30 to 50 volts, that's usually no, uh, no load on the circuit and um, that that's typically a display issue. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get our IO cable out here. Let's grab a magnet for these screws and let's see what's going on. So I almost wanna say that maybe they tried changing the screen and left the battery plugged in. If you leave your battery plugged in and try and change your screen, you will blow the backlight fuse. That's what it's there for, um, but we'll see. So we have some board screws and the board screws that are in here are not tight at all. Like the board is loose, which is very unusual. I'm holding back a sneeze right now, so hopefully I don't sneeze. Yeah, like, come on, at least tighten the screws. But I don't know. So you generally want your screws tightened for grounding reasons too and to keep the board secure. Um, so yeah, I don't know why that would be the case. All right, let's go to our microscope and let's see what's going on. So one thing I notice off the bat immediately is that the whole edge of the board is very dusty. And whenever I see dust like that, I think of possibility of corrosion because corrosion tends to, or dust tends to attract corrosion and then you can get issues like that. All right, so I see just the edge of the board being kind of dusty here, which is typical. I mean, this is an older device, so, you know, pro ultrasonic cleaning would probably be in order here. And then here's our backlight driver right here. Now, what I see here is a lot of 
dust and just crap under this chip. Now, what we have to think about, I don't know if we have a blown fuse yet. We're going to figure out if we have a blown fuse. But when I see this, I think of condensation, especially from the part of the country where this came from. Um, you can get condensation that forms under this chip, and this, this can fail. Um, so I want us to go ahead and look at our backlight, uh, this part of the backlight circuit. Here's our backlight fuse, and I kind of suspect this is blown. But what you have to understand is that a fuse never just blows by itself. A fuse is always going to blow for a reason. It doesn't just happen. It doesn't just blow for no apparent reason. So let's go ahead and see if this fuse is blown or not. So, all right, so continuity mode. This fuse is indeed blown. So, I have to figure out what happened here. Did the fuse just blow for no, did the fuse blow for no reason, which would be very, very rare. I mean, theoretically it's possible, but it'd be very, very rare, probably not very likely. Um, or is, did something cause this to happen? Well, what are the possibilities of this happening? Well, maybe they tried to change the screen, they plugged in the screen, um, and with the battery connected, and it blew the fuse. That's possible, or what's possible as well, is this chip has a little bit of corrosion underneath, and it's causing it to use a little too much power, and it exceeded the current rating of the, the fuse, and it blew. That's kind of what I think is going on. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this chip, um, and the fuse, and we are going to hope we get backlight, and I'm pretty sure we will. It's almost never seldomly the backlight fuse, but... And it's kind of hard to see if there was anything under there because it kind of washed it out. But we'll see. There's that. Let me go grab a fuse, or a reel of fuses, and a LPD 550. Let's see here. Backlight fuse. And LPD 550. There's that. A nice brand new new fuse. I kind of like these fuses because you could see the little filament inside of them. And you could see if it's blown or not by just looking at it. Pretty cool.
a little bit too dry for my liking. That's good enough. And while this is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ultrasonic cleaners to start getting worn, warm. Not worn, warm. Because this definitely needs a bath. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put this back in the enclosure and hopefully we get nice backlight. And what time is it? If we get nice backlight, I could go home in an hour and have a nice two days of rest away from the store because I'm tired. Okay. So I really only care about my screen at this point. I don't want anything else plugged into this um, because it's going to get unplugged again. Like I said, this needs a bath anyway, so not going to bother with that. Um, we have our charger just plugged in. Should get fan spin here in a second. There's fan spin. Just had a guy who ripped off the back connector on their Z RZR computer, Razor computer, and thought you could just resolder it. No, you ripped all the traces. Yeah, that's how it goes. So we do have a backlight. I'm going to let that Apple logo come up, let it boot up. Christian, so if you look back on the stream, there actually the backlight driver had a little dust under it, and I figured that caused a little bit of corrosion. So that's that's what I suspect anyway. It's just you know a little bit of corrosion under that chip from that dust, or they tried to change the screen or unplugged it, something like that. But this you can see the Apple logo. I'm gonna let it boot up here. It's probably gonna go slow because it has the trackpad unplugged, a bunch of other stuff unplugged, and sensors don't really like that. Probably going to boot into recovery, which is always what happens when you're trying to do something quickly on stream, is it boots into recovery, which takes a long time. Yeah, I don't want to wait for it. I'm going to plug in this. Plug in this. Plug in the trackpad. Booting into recovery. Um, yeah, booting into recovery. Well, the trackpad is unplugged, throttled. Yeah, that's that's not fun. Do PRAM two. Yeah, as far as the Apple Repair program, I don't, I haven't really looked into it much, other than the fact that there's no Mac parts yet, so I don't really care until there is Mac parts. So it means little to nothing to me for right now. I do think it's a step in the right direction, though. And there you have it, it booted into the OS. We have a nice backlit screen, and this is fixed. So that's it for this one. Like I said, this board needs to be cleaned. Um, and uh, after it's cleaned, it should be all good to go.